Just when we thought Tesla had its hands full already with its line of cars in the upcoming Cybertruck, along comes the new Tesla AI robot. This has been a long time coming for the nearly 20-year-old tech company, and its popularity seems to be rivaling that of Boston Dynamics' humanoid robots as well as Japan's many humanoid robots. However, in classic Elon Musk fashion, the Tesla robot's release date has been pushed back multiple times due to fine adjustments needed to be made to the bots. But what's so special about Tesla's new creation? And what's its status so far? The new Tesla AI robot is called Optimus. It is Tesla's first foray into the humanoid robot industry and was announced at Tesla's AI Day event in 2021. Elon Musk once said a robot business will be worth more than Tesla's line of cars, hoping to expand beyond Tesla's planned self-driving vehicles that have not yet become a reality despite his repeated promises. There were two prototypes unveiled at the event. Tesla started by unveiling Bumble C, which is the first version of the bot developed with semi-off-the-shelf actuators. It served as a testing bed for Tesla's first robot developed with in-house parts. A prototype of the robot slowly walked on stage at the AI Day event and waved to the seated audience. A video of the robot carrying a box, watering plant, and moving metal bars in the automaker's factory was shown. After the Tesla bot walked onto the stage, it proceeded to do a small dance. This was done, of course, to amuse the audience, which it did. But since that event, Optimus has not showcased any more of its talents to any other audience. Elon still has its eye set on the release of self-driving Tesla cars, which are still on their way. The Cybertruck, another awaited Tesla product, has been severely delayed by more than two release dates already. Robotaxis, yet another proposed Tesla product, has yet to achieve liftoff in production even three years after its announcement. While Optimus has officially been announced and demonstrated in front of Tesla fans, there's much more work left to be done before release, at least according to Elon Musk. Our goal is to make a useful humanoid robot as quickly as possible, Musk said at the event at the Tesla office in Palo Alto, California. He continued by saying, there's still a lot of work to be done to refine Optimus and prove it. Musk said humanoid robots were currently missing a brain and claimed they don't have the intelligence to navigate the world by themselves and that they were also very expensive to make, therefore allowing only for low-volume production. To sum it all up, it would take much more time for anyone to get their hands on a fully functional Optimus robot. Initially, Optimus, an apparent reference to the powerful and benevolent leader of the Autobots in the Transformers franchise, would perform boring or dangerous jobs including moving parts around Tesla factories or attaching a bolt to a car with a wrench, according to Musk. The name Optimus is also fitting considering Musk's general attitude and character when it comes to his creations with the name Optimus meaning the best when translated from its Latin word. But many researchers and professors in robotics have had doubts about Musk's statements and optimism regarding Optimus. There's so much about what people can do dexterously that's very, very hard for robots. And that's not good to change whether the robot is a robot arm or whether it's in the shape of a humanoid, said Jonathan Hurst, chief technology officer at Agility Robotics, a humanoid robot firm. Musk has said that in the future, Robots could even be used in homes to make dinners, mow lawns, care for the elderly, and even become a buddy for humans or a sex partner. Looking at Japan's achievements in robotics, it's not hard to believe that we will one day see Tesla robots fulfilling these human requirements. As of 2022, Optimus is still all metal and wires on the outside. The speed of the bot is also yet to improve, being unable to engage in any common activity without someone operating it from behind the curtains. Many are doubting whether this is in fact a good step forward for Tesla, mainly due to the immense competition it has in the industry of robots. Musk himself has addressed the expectations people have for the robot by saying, I do want to set some expectations with respect to our Optimus robot. Last year was just a person in a robot suit, but we've come a long way, and compared to that, it's going to be very impressive. Shortly after the unveiling of Optimus, Tesla joined a host of other car manufacturers involved in the business of humanoid robotics. Not many may be aware that Hyundai owns a collection of humanoid and animal-like robots thanks to its 2021 acquisition of robotics firm Boston Dynamics, while Ford has partnered with Oregon startup Agility Robotics to make robots with two legs and two arms that can walk and lift packages. But it was Honda's 22-year-old humanoid Asimo that drew many comparisons online. 
Unveiled by the Japanese car maker in 2000 and rolled out on stage at regular intervals ever since, Asimo was able to run and jump and was memorably programmed to pour tea at one demonstration. However, Musk hopes to make Optimus far more versatile and stronger than Asimo ever was. When it comes to Optimus' capabilities, what can it do? Tesla drew a lot of inspiration for its design from the human body, giving its Optimus bot 20 degrees of freedom. That's far lower than what the human body provides. But Optimus still has many degrees of freedom in its hands and even two degrees of freedom in its thumb to give it some opposable action. With articulating hands, Optimus was designed to operate tools and do useful things, as Musk stated. He also previously mentioned applications in caring for the elderly and, of course, working in its Tesla factories. Tesla also shared some specs of Optimus, which included a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, which the automaker claims should be good for about a day's worth of work. As Tesla announced last year, it is also equipped with the same self-driving computer inside Tesla vehicles. While the bot has many features and capabilities that are still unknown to the masses, there is no doubt that Optimus bots will also be considered to help as part of the United States military, seeing as how the future of warfare is heading towards robots replacing human soldiers. Will other countries be able to acquire Optimus robots one day? Only time will tell. And while it's too early to tell what the exact price of an Optimus bot will be, Musk said that it'll likely cost less than $20,000 during the AI Day event. Musk also compared the pricing to Tesla cars, noting that the bot will be much cheaper. If this is the right price point, we could very well see Optimus bots become the standard for the humanoid robot market. No matter how long it may take to come out, it's guaranteed that at the very least, Tesla will have something beneficial for the masses to use, even if it ends up not having the superhuman capabilities everyone expects the Optimus bot to have.